they're going to be moving in the day and pull Right now, I'm transferring all my tools that were in this area. I my toilet. If I turn the water on, it's used to the water out. They spread the bugs. The downside is when you're throwing the paint in the yard, remember not to use new trash cans, new toilet scrubber, and all we had to do was And if I need to water my flower, in the last episode and today I'm gonna show you how to move with the circumstances of life to get the results that I got yes yeah we're gonna get results to do it boys and girls we got 48 hours 48 hours and I'm not kidding the family's moving in in 48 hours and I'm not playing you get to work we got a lot to do we got to change the toilet on this side that I'm in right now because me and my daughter are going to be here 72 hours and I ain't got a toilet. I ain't got running water. Uh, we got sewage spilling around the toilet, obviously. We got to get rid of this toilet. It's causing a lot of problems. No kitchen sink. No kitchen plugs. There's nothing. To, I don't have a microwave. No way to plug in my microwave and my hot plate. We definitely don't have an oven. We got a lot of situations and me and my daughter are going to live in here. So, you get to work now. Uh, we got a bathroom cabinet we need to paint. We got to go to the dump and haul everything, all this stuff to the dump. We have to put a new wax ring. We have to put a new supply line. That'll get our water over here. The bathroom cabinet will get them over there working. They're gonna be moving in a day before my daughter, before I get my daughter back, she'll be moving in. And I have to get the entire house situated before she gets here because she ain't gonna be happy if uh, she comes home and there's no toilet and there's no kitchen and there's no nothing. So I'm gonna show you how to get a temporary kitchen. Very cheap, very simple, $79. You can get you a kitchen sink working, uh, dish, dish cleaning, all that. And I'm going to show you all this in this episode, how to make basically a non-livable house livable so that you can get somebody living on the livable half. And, I, and you're going to see a little bit how it feels in the process. So that's what this episode is going to be. It's going to be a lot of things. So stay close. Okay, I just got the yard mowed up. And you can see, I'm going to take you a little gander through and around. And I'm going to show you that it ain't all that all the time. You see, there's process. This is where I'm living now that somebody else has moved in on the other side. And you can see it is not very inviting. But one day it will be much better. So there it is. It's quite a mess. Right now I'm transferring all my tools that were in this area. Now... I'm going and in the side of this closet and I'm clearing out all the stuff inside this closet because I need more space. So all this stuff is gonna be thrown outside in the trash pile. I'm also selling furniture. I've got people coming and getting stuff off Facebook uh, marketplace, selling stuff because I'm downsizing. And here I'm moving all the tools, all those tools were over there. And now I'm moving all my tools over here because I need a space to put my daughter's bed. My daughter's bed's gonna go in here and my bed that's over here is gonna go in here. So I've got a lot of more stuff to move in over here and a lot more stuff to move out. And I've gotta somehow get all this stuff organized so that I can use it, find it, and I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta get all this done ASAP. You can see here, this room is quite a mess. I am done now with the project. The family, it's a single mom with three kids. She's gonna be moving in tomorrow. And this is gonna be my room as of tomorrow morning. So you can see I've got quite a headache ahead of me here. This is my room, okay? Toilet's completely dry. I have no running water to my toilet. If I turn the water on, it spews sewer water out everywhere. And not sewer water, but if you flush it, sewer water goes out everywhere. And the tank constantly runs and runs and runs. So I just shut it off, let it dry up, and I'm going to be removing this toilet soon. So I'll show you how I remove this toilet. And anyway, <clears throat> so I have a lot to do before tomorrow. Luckily though, my closet is clean, other than a couple of boards in there. So. I have one thing ready, one thing's clean. What I'm gonna be doing is organizing all this stuff 
I'm gonna be putting all this stuff inside trash sacks, 50 gallon, or not 50 gallon, the really big heavy duty trash bags for construction materials at Lowe's. I'll be putting all this stuff in, in, inside those um, trash bags. And you can see this area is clean now. You can see. I've got all my tools organized now over here, a lot of them. And I'm still gonna, this is gonna look a little bit better um, once I've got that room done and kind of organize this a little bit better. Uh, I've got a day and a half or two until my daughter moves in here. So you can see this is coming together now. I've got a setup. This is starting to clean up. We've got bug and rodent control came out a couple of days ago. They sprayed for bugs. I've been seeing dead bugs across the floor. So that's a good thing. It's a bad thing, but it's a good thing. And the family on the other side's moving in. I've sprayed bugs for both sides. Okay, I've got my car loaded up. My Toyota Camry is loaded up and I'm at the dump down the road here in my town. It's a free dump and you can take stuff. You just can't take household trash, but I'm not taking household trash. No, 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 sorry, I'm not. I'm taking trash cans full of junk. Anyway, I'll show you that a little bit more in a minute. They say you can't flip a house out of a car. By God golly. I'm about to show you. This whole tub's full right here, flooring and stuff. Got tile, wood, all these scraps right here, all the way to the floor. Got some foam. I've got this thing loaded up right here. I've got tile in there. I've got a junk thing here, other junk stuff there. And you can see my whole trunk's loaded with all those scraps right there. And the big stuff I'm breaking down and putting in trash sacks. See you tomorrow. Here is the paint and I'm gonna be painting this cabinet which has been scraped to heck, you can see. But I'm just going with black and you can see I actually got 80% of a can right there of black paint which I scraped off the concrete with my hands with both my hands scooping them up like this, like you were gonna drink that paint. Just scooping it right off the concrete. Got a little bit of grass, a little bit of dirt in there. Nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. But you can see, this is looking a lot better. It's, it's not perfect, but it's looking way better black than it was with black and white and blue and all these different colors mixed together. So I am gonna bring you back. I just didn't wanna get too far ahead of this. Um, wanted to throw it in the episode. So here it is right here. There you have it. You can see how this is turning out. I use the glossy, glossy paint, and you can see it's really, really nice. This was only, to do this whole cabinet, which you've seen the shape it was in before, now, for only $18, $17, it was about 18 bucks, so a little under $18. Downside is when you throw paint yard, remember not to spill it all over the place, get it on your concrete, have to work on the concrete for days, and get your feet bothered. Don't worry about any of that, just skip that step and learn from my mistakes, and don't throw your paint can in the yard. Put it all over my nice shorts and everything. I had a date tonight. Dead gun it. Yeah, you can see here my eye has been messed up. It won't stop watering. It's been hurting pretty bad. Uh, I heard it yesterday. You can see I'm at Lowe's right now. I've got the toilet right here shoved inside my car. I had to take half of it out of the box. Half of it's in the box. I've got the electrical plugs, boxes, wax rings. And the toilet tank is right here. And the bowl and the, all the stuff right here, the lid and the other parts right there. And you can see my eight foot two by fours for another project I'm working on right there. All with the trunk down is the Toyota Camry. You can see here's the process of the toilet change. This is what I have to do now because now that there's someone living on that side, that's great and all, but I don't have a kitchen or a bathroom. Well, I have a bathroom, but we gotta get it working. So here's the process. I've got the new one set up here. We just got it here from Lowe's. These are the things you're gonna need. A wax ring, I actually got a bigger wax ring, but this one came with the toilet and you could use that one if you wanted to. A supply line, it came with these little uh, little nuts and bolts right here to connect the toilet to the ground through those little holes. And you're only gonna need a couple of little tools right here. Screwdriver, channel locks. Okay, old toilet is gonna go from there and I'm gonna set it on here and drag it out. Here the new one goes in. Boom, new wax ring. You're gonna to wanna to scrape it clean, clean it all really good before you put the new wax ring on. Okay, over here, I'm just gonna disconnect that and I'm gonna keep this PVC pipe that goes up to here with the shutoff. Make sure that that shutoff is turned off 
and I'm gonna disconnect that little nut right there. Okay, once I disconnect that little nut and those little nuts, this toilet will pull right up. Remember to clean that wax ring. And I'm gonna set it out and drag it out. That's the process. I will see you back here in a minute because I have to take a poo poo. <laughs> Ooh, and if you need a more detailed video, here's a video for you on how to change the toilet so you can poo-poo. So this is what I got. You can see the water, the shut off is off and there's no leaks. So I can just connect back onto that. Yeah, this right here, all that, you're gonna have to get rid of that. That all has to come off of those little nuts and then clean it. And Do I see a new toilet sitting right here? Do I? Do I? Do I? New trash can, new toilet scrubber? No. And all we had to do was disconnect that little fitting and that and the whole toilet came out no that wasn't too bad go check out that video guys here's the toilet okay so right now i actually need to hook up these to the plugs but and there's a couple of nicked wires from when i was cutting so i'm gonna have to cut that's why i have extra wire uh service loops and all that because i'm actually gonna have to cut off about four inches or five inches here and the same thing over here because when I was cutting around this hole I nicked that wire and you can check in there and make sure you didn't cut the black part or the white part which I don't think I did but for me I'm just going to snip those where they were cut and I'll pull a little bit out of the wall because I have plenty inside the wall for service loops and I will continue but first I'm going to shut off the power and then snip snip and check back on my other episode before this if you're curious on how to see all this stuff but anyway i'm going to shut off the power hook up all this so that i can get off of this extension cord which currently i'm running my whole kitchen off of because my daughter's here well she's at school right now and the tenant on this side i've got a hold of them and they are currently not home so they said i can shut off the power i'm going to do this in about five or ten minutes hook up all three of these plugs. I'll link a video right here. If you're curious on how to turn one plug into several or how to, and that shows multiple things inside this video on how to hook up all these plugs more in detail. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now and I'll show you right back here and then I can hook up all my stuff into these plugs you see. And I'm also running my YouTube channel off of an extension cord also. Quick version of what I'm doing here tamper resistant plugs this is the tamper resistant plug that i'm using from lowe's okay on the screws the brass is on the right so black to brass white to silver so whites are on the left blacks are on the right grounds are in the middle there's only one ground connection here and this is a plastic box so there's only one hook the shorter wire one was cut shorter and they were just wound together here and then that's going to connect to the green ground to green metal box you would ground it to the box so you'd have a third wire going back and connecting to the gr to grounding to the actual metal box as well so you don't have to cause a fire over here same thing and right here there's only one wire because it's the end of the run black to brass white to, white to silver green to ground same thing it's just one wire so we'll only use one connection instead of two see there's two and two we'll just use one and one and one you can see the power is back on and this only took a few minutes you can see everything is hooked up that screw and the bottom screw all the way down i've done the same thing and this says correct wiring at the bottom these two lights are lit up okay let's check this plug correct wiring Correct wiring. 
And one thing I do want to mention is I didn't tighten that screw on that side or that side, and that's okay for functioning. But if you have a metal box, I've actually shorted out the wires and stuff because of those little nuts. So if you have a metal box, go ahead and tighten those nuts down so they don't hit the side of the box. It took me a while to figure that one out. But if you have that problem, that's why. So tighten those down if you have a metal box. Correct wiring, lights are on. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this extension cord and clean up this mess. This is all I used. These are all the things I used. And that's it. You can see I removed the old trash wire that I nicked there. And this wire I also nicked and I removed that as well. I just cut it right behind that nick. Now I'm gonna have to show you this. You remember how we didn't have a kitchen? We had no sink? Well, I have a garden hose. Oh yes, I sure do. And a fishing table right there from Academy has some pea traps in it and everything. I gotta show you this. There's water sitting right there in the pea traps, okay? No sewer smell or nothing out down there. Okay, we got a dish dryer. Okay. Nice dish dryer. And down inside there, you can sanitize your dishes. Okay. There's a drain top down here. Okay. Easy to clean, easy to drain on a Tuesday night. And right here, there's your deep sink for cleaning your big pots. Okay. And check out this water pressure. All I do is set that there, set that down here, flip this over like that. You've got you a table right here with a measuring tape on it. Okay. Huh? And a trash can right there. Now, let me show you this there. We got full-blown water pressure out there. Full-blown. I even got me a dish towel hanging on the handle. No leaks. Now, what's it look outside? How's it look out there? We ain't got no leaks out there. I sure don't think we got no leaks out there, neither. Now, that, that might be a problem, unless you didn't have this under here, so the water could drain down there with a brick holding it so the wind don't blow it away in a tornado. <laughs> and this one drains, too. And if I need to water my flowers, I just disconnect it here and do my thing out here. And then I connect it back down here again. That's a good idea. Even got me some rocks up here and a styrofoam. In case this did drip, it'd drip out instead of in. And this is how I blocked that window off so the tenant in the bathroom can't see across here. And I'm also lining the driveway with those stones. hours out of the 72 hours and we've overcame a lot of obstacles we've made some jumps we've made some ducks we've made some pushes we've made some shoves and we've got everything done and now i'm gonna enjoy my labors and i'm going to go get my daughter and she's gonna be happy here's what the house looks like i'm gonna walk you around right now so come in close here's some more stuff that i need to take to the dump still and another load or two i just started tossing stuff out of closets and all kinds of stuff but here is the walkthrough we come in, here's the parking over here. The tenant's parking is over there. My parking is over here. And you back out right there. It looks kind of narrow, but it's actually a lot wider than it looks in this video. So here's the parking. You come in. And here's the, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see. Okay, so I've got her bed, a little bucket chair that spins and you can actually sit on it, but we use it for coffee tables or to sit on it. Here's a trash can in her room. 
She has her toy chest over here still. You can see everything's clean, everything's organized. I got her a new dresser here. I put, I've donated the TV to her room now. So it makes the move easier because we used, this used to be my room whenever we had the whole house, whenever it was opened up going through there. So I left the TV for her. Uh, she also got the mini fridge and I fill it with her popsicles and little uh, drinks and stuff. She has more storage over here. And then you can see some toys over there and you can see this is gonna be a living room slash her bedroom. A comfortable little space, okay? I got my saw hanging on the wall right there. And you can see her Jeep. I have a little, here's the room from standing back this way. You come down the staircase like this, saws on the wall. This is what it looks like. I got all the deer heads hung up. Okay, over here, I'm gonna pull the Jeep out so it's gonna get a little bit messy. But we worked on this closet. I cleaned this whole entire closet out and I still have plenty of storage left at the top. Okay, plenty of storage. That was a big project. That's a lot of the stuff that we took to the dump. Okay, and then over here is the washer and dryer. Remember, we did not have water over here as well. I had to fix this. I made a video on this uh, earlier on. And now we have water for, and I cut the hole and did all this stuff right here. And there's a vent over here. Okay, we've got washer and dryer on my side now. Have several videos in my appliance applications playlist. Okay, now we're going up this way. Here is the temporary kitchen, which I already showed you that whole setup, but there it sets right there and it drains out the window. Okay, plenty of lighting. This sheetrock, I'm gonna go over in a lot more detail. I'm gonna make a whole episode just on, uh, sh on this sheetrock right here. Okay, mudding and taping specifically and I'll uh, get a little bit of details on, on how you hang it up. You just cut the pieces to make them fit and then cut around the boxes and I'm gonna go over all that. But here is the temporary kitchen because we're talking about the process right now, what it feels like and just kind of some obstacles you might need to sort through and here's some fancy ideas for you. Also, if you don't have a toilet, you can do, if you have a kitchen but you don't have a toilet, you can actually, and I've done this many times and don't judge me, but uh, I, I, I've had to do this to get by and to get where I'm at today but I've used what I've actually done before in the past is I've gotten a, a bucket like this one right here and you know take that lid off set you a one by four across the back kind of so that when you sit on it it don't hurt your legs right here and you just short right down there in a in a in a Walmart sack that you get for free when you're getting groceries set you a toilet paper roll somewhere right near, right near there and poo in the bucket strap it up tie it up and Go put it in the in the trash can at the road. It might stink, people walking by, but hey, what are they gonna do? Dogs poop a lot out here and I have to put clean the poop up with the dog and put it in the trash can. So there you have it. I've done that at two different properties, uh, three, because I actually did it here for two days, only for two days while I was working on everything. But anyway, back to this. We have plenty of electrical work right here now and we have a temporary kitchen that's all functional. In my YouTube area, we also eat right here. We have the microwave built into this cabinet. I've got to sort through all those groceries and whatnot and some more bathroom stuff, but you can see I've got all my tools here. Everything's organized. I'm using a saw horse table. I got a little rag for when I'm cooking. Here's my hot plate. I can still make coffee, obviously the microwave. Um, seasonings right here. There's my, all my plugs that I needed. I've got a little rag, uh, coasters. This is where we eat. This is where we make it all happen right here. Fridge is big enough. Plenty of space in here. You can see I'm gonna build my two by four cabinet cabinetry right here. So it's basically gonna look just like this eventually with all cabinets over here. And there'll be a walk strip right here with cabinets. I'm gonna build this whole thing for like a hundred bucks. And then going in here, you can see I've hung a few pictures on the wall right there. Okay, and here's one over here to make you feel homey at home when you come home and get a couple of pictures on the wall or whatever you like. I like my deer heads and everything. Okay, I've got my gun, another chair slash uh, coffee table type thing, trash can, plug my phone in. I do a lot of YouTube work in right here, Lynn. This is the setup. I've got a new dresser here. You can see the bathroom door slides. This is the round one. This is gonna change so much by the time I get done with it. I'm gonna be building bathroom shelves here in another episode, showing you how to do all this out of two by fours to get more storage, because right now I just have a little bit of storage right here. Here's the bathroom uh, shower. You can see it's all 
uh, very clean. I've cleaned it all. It's ready for my daughter when she gets here. I've got her little step stool right here, bath rug. We've got our soaps and toothbrushes, rest of the bath stuff's over there. That's why I'm gonna build this so we can get all of our stuff in here. Got our new trash can that's bigger than our last one. Got a toilet scrubber right here. Brand new toilet, super clean. You can see the flush is popping up. Way better than those old toilets, okay? Good sink pressure. And we've seen that the fish cleaning table. Okay, the last thing is the closet. And I'm gonna show you kind of what's going on here in my closet, all right? You can see plenty of room for clothes. Got a lot of pots and pans up here because we don't have kitchen storage right here. Dewalt stuff, ammunition, guns, chargers, some guns. Got my vacuum over here, blah, blah, blah. I'm giving you the whole thing. I don't carry all. This is what I got. I've gotten rid of a lot and I have more than enough money to live a fancier life than this. I do this because I want. I don't want to be stuck. Uh, right now, I, I have bigger dreams than what I have. Um, so it, it takes, there's a lot of sacrifice. It's Labor Day weekend, I'm getting my daughter. It's my day to get her back. And I have been working relentlessly to get this house ready. I'm exhausted, but I'm super excited and I'm, I'm glad that I did it. So I, here she is pulling up right now. I'm gonna get her and hopefully she's happy. It's the little dog and it's Ayana. Are you excited to see the house? Are you excited to see the house? Why, doggy? Why are you kissing the phone? Oh, that dog's kissing the phone.